So you want to switch a spindle on your um, worn out Hope Evo crankset, but you're scared shitless about uh, how to uh, remove that damn end plug or end bolt. Well, you need this tool and it uh, should look like this. The name is writ written on it, H-E H C 108 and uh, I like to remove it from the frame <laughs> because I don't want to damage my frame during my uh, attempts and you just put it in there of course it's made of aluminum which is too soft for this job but let's just uh, pretend it's not deformed yet after five minutes. Okay, then I just put it on a piece of foam. I use a 19 millimeter, uh, yeah, car tire or car wheel uh, nut remover. I use a bit of leverage, <laughs> and then I step hard and I gently pull. Of course, I had to do it a lot harder the first time, but uh, now I can just unscrew it. Oh my god, that was so easy. There you go. In my next video, I will demonstrate how easy it is to remove the spindle from the Hope Evo crankset. All you need is um, some uh, cryo spray. The same tool that they included actually. Well, not included, you have to buy it, but it fits perfectly. <laughs> and then you can use actually the same, if you're lucky, you will find a tool that fits precisely like that. And then you just uh, lean on these, on a, on a vise, like that. And uh, make sure that this doesn't hit the actual uh, cranks, crank arm. But, um, and it says, don't use a hammer. So instead I use this heavy ass, metal rod to jam it out like this. Let me demonstrate. First I spray it a bit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's gonna get a little bit chilly here. A little bit will do yeah. And then without breaking my finger I do like this. What? It's already out? That was too easy. Hmm. Well, this is garbage. And then I just have to press in the new axle. And now in this practical demonstration, I will uh, simulate how it is like to uh, press in the spindle, the new spindle in the Hope Evo crankset. Again, don't use a hammer, use a heavy ass steel rod. And all you need to do is to clean it out and um, put some grease. And then you need to find a good socket that fits around the edge of uh, the crank arm. And I think we should look for something that covers at least one millimeter. And then you find a wooden plank. Something that is a bit softer than the alum aluminum. And again, you use your cooling spray to spray it. Luckily, aluminum is great at the transferring cold and heat. And then you just do this.
Try to do it straight. And it looks kind of nice. I don't recall it being any different than this. Now we just uh, screw back the um, end cap, I guess, clockwise, like this. And then we have it completed. In my last demonstration on how to service the Hope Evo crankset, I will demonstrate how to get rid of this old shitty chain ring and replace it with something new and wonderful. And uh, it would have been even better if, uh, <laughs> if Hope had any quality control whatsoever. And I wouldn't have to sand their products afterwards. Well, enough complaining, let's start. The only tool you need is, uh, well, preferably a vise. And this tool, maybe you can see it, it's called uh, Hope HC. 105 26T 16 Newton meters. That's a lot. Let's see if I have it in me. So you just attach it like this. I like to stay in the middle for more pressure. Place this thing in the grooves. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm gonna save this one before it's all scratched. Ooh. I don't show you this in the whole tutorial. It's actually quite difficult to get it to fit in this uh, custom socket. Not user friendly. Okay. This is going to be a longer video than expected. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> Am I just retarded? What if I look at it at the same time? Here's one edge. There it should go in. Ah, it went in. Great. Okay, which direction? <laughs> it must be going out like that. So then it should be like this. Right? Or maybe like that. Hmm, okay, like that. to be a viking to really get this thing out but uh, eventually you will get it Ooh, so dirty actually i cleaned it a few months ago but okay i will now continue to clean but uh, i will just reverse the process with the, the new one and that's it you're done Oh, and remember to just finger tighten the preload adjuster. Well, I have to show you how this looks. First, we need to clean it out, of course, which I have done now. Now it's nice and clean. And then the idea is to put this thing 
on here. Although I wonder if uh, it came up. Oh, of course. I need to clean out this one as well. There's a lot of cleaning here. Let's see. I guess you look for for the little dot here, and uh, this should go on this spot here, like that. noise and this must be clean otherwise you may get get a creak or two which I got but I hope it's because I it's, it was because of the old worn out uh, shit that I was using before with uh, all this cleaned out new shit it should be better I'm gonna add a grease. I don't know why, but it always seems like a good idea. The manual says use a little grease. I'm gonna use plenty of grease. I'm gonna smear it out everywhere. In Sweden we have an expression saying Violence and Vaseline solves all the problems. Not sure what that means. I'm too young. I'm gonna clean it one more time. Because I would hate if there would be a little sand corn, a little piece of sand that cause the creak later. There. Where did I put that thing? Hmm. It's really easy to use stuff. There. And uh, look for the text. The text, 60 Newton meter. An aneurysm inducing a 60 Newton meter should be on top. I spin the wrong direction first to find the thread, and then I hand thread. So I don't use 60 newton meters immediately because that's probably a bad idea. Now I know that it's uh, nice and snug. Let's look. Use your eyes to find the groove. on the floor like this. Okay, I'm not even I'm just spinning for fun. Okay. Uh, let's move this shit. Uh, starting to look quite nice already. What is 60 Nm? Can anyone explain? Is it uh, this much? I think that was just 25. Well, I think that's enough. And damn, it looks nice. Wow, look at that.